I found an article about how to be the best poser you can be, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to take a look at it and update it for today. Let's take a look. Welcome back to Rad Rat Video, a channel where we talk about skateboarding stuff. Subscribe if you enjoy hearing about skateboarding, especially the very nerdy, deep topics. Uh, and recently I did a video about the salad grinding. Check that out right here. If you haven't seen it, I think it turned out pretty good. But while I was uh, doing research for that, I found a, it's like an official zine called the Bones Brigade Intelligence Report. And it had an article about how to be the best poser that you can be. And uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. So I wanted to share that with you and then I want to update it for today. And then as a little bonus at the end, I want to show you uh, an extra little thing that I found in the zine that was a lot of fun. But let's take a look at this article. It is called Poser's Problems. Um, so let's just go through the different steps that they give you on how to be the best poser that you can be. First one here, paint pens. Always look close to the photos in the mags. Copy the pros boards and you can tell your friends, Cabby gave me the board. Uh, <laughs> it's a pretty fun idea. That one doesn't really work so much these days because pros don't really decorate their boards. They go through them so fast. But yeah, back in the day, you'd have all kinds of art all over them. But yeah, imagine showing up to school with Steve Caballero's deck and like he actually gave this to me, you know? That could that could give you a little, a little cachet. Next one, coned wheels. Used wheels are proof of downhill slides and speed. An X-Acto knife is a good substitute. I really wonder if they tested that. Uh, I love how wide this uh, this uh, well wheel back is back then is this like ultra wide wheel. Uh, but yeah, they they cone over time. But could you really cut it down to make it look like your wheels are coned? I I don't think that one would work. But let's take a look at the next one. Ollie holes. With a screwdriver and grip tape, you can simulate used shoes. Note, by doing both shoes, skaters will believe you can skate switch stance. <laughs> there was not a lot of switch going on at, at the time. Yeah, if you had holes in your shoes from switch, that would have been really impressive. Um, now you're still probably gonna wanna use that one today, even more so. If you could be like exactly the same on both sides, that'd give you even more respect. Let's keep going. Wall rides, mark up all cities. By hand, higher marks may be made. This will impress new skaters that come to your city without having to skate. <laughs> this one I enjoy because you don't directly impress anyone in particular. <laughs> like no one, unless you point out, hey, those are my marks, but then why bother making them yourself? Um, but you know, just impress other skaters around the city, whatever, if that's, if that's what you wanna do. Next one. Grab that file and give your truck some wear. When your mom buys you a new board, she will worry when the guy grip tapes your board with a file, scratching the paint. No worries. Grab that file and make the board look used. I don't know why there's a stray comma in that sentence. That kind of threw me a bit. But that is the end of the original 1988 version of this article. But what can we add today? Uh, the first thing I thought of was to get nose and tail slide marks on your, your board. So, you know, you go around and like rub the nose and the tail on stuff. If it's just the nose, that's not that impressive. You can nose slide pretty easy. But if you got lots of tail slide marks too, I mean, that kind of says something. You carry around that board at school with nose and tail slide marks, make sure you get some ones in the middle too for, for uh, board slides. But have your board looking nice and worn down, that would be a good way to go. The other thing I thought of was uh, like really specific grip tape styles. Like, you know, these days it's not so much about drawing on your board, um, but you know, back in the 90s, late late uh, 90s, there would be a thing where they would mount your grip tape at an angle, so there was like a cut uh, right here, like a spot that would be uh, missing right there. And supposedly it made you better at heel flips or something. I don't know what the point of it was. I never knew anyone who, who did it. Um, but like, if you have a specific thing from the 90s, like, you know, that's way too specific to just do because it looks cool. Like you're doing it on purpose. The other thing I thought of was to mount your grip tape a little bit offset to the side. So there's like a bare wood spot. There's some skaters who do that, like Jamie Griffin uh, does that sometimes. I'm not sure what the point of that is either, but um, if you have a good excuse for it, that would be a good way to make people think you actually skate. Um, the next thing was one colored bolt. 
that is something that I actually do where you know you just have like one bolt be blue so that you can easily tell your tail from your your, your nose that's not something they're gonna do for you at the store when you buy a skateboard that's something you've got to know so that's a little pro tip for you uh, rails on on your board uh, I thought that was a really good idea because um, it's it's again it's a more specific thing I'm not trying to tell you that I skate and I can do a kickflip. I'm telling you, I do lots of board slides that are super long, you know? Like the more you can fit into a really specific niche in skateboarding, the more believable your lies are going to be. Uh, okay, one big difference though. Back in the day, if you didn't skate at school, you didn't bring your board, uh, no one would ever see you skate, you know? Um, but these days, everyone has a video camera in their pocket all the time. So why have I never seen you skate before? A couple things that, <laughs> that uh, you can do. First, tell uh, people that your footage is owned by your sponsors and that they're trying to put together your next part. So you can't show anyone your, your uh, footage right now. I think that one could, could work. Uh, and then the last thing I thought of was to... Photoshop a picture of you with a pro. I actually did this with Tony Hawk before. I don't remember what this was for. I put it in something I, I made. It was like an, an obvious joke when I when I, I did it, but I happen to have this where I made a fake picture of me and, and Tony Hawk. If you could do that, uh, like everyone's gonna believe that you can skate. Um, now, the, the easiest thing to do, of course, is actually learn how to skate, but that's way too much more work, you know, to actually get good at it. Like, it's, simpler but it's harder that's that's how i should have said it all right now the bonus thing at the end this is back in the uh power peralta or the bones brigade intelligence report i wanted to show you this satirical article on new equipment i've talked about the crazy things that skateboards used to have uh, you know back in the day you'd have like a nose bone you'd have like a tail skid you'd have you know um things on your your trucks you have all kinds of weird stuff check out this article it's got so many cool things on it. Like right here, starting at the nose, there's just something that holds it together so the board doesn't delam. Uh, there is a radio so you can listen to, to music. There is a rear view mirror. <laughs> there's just spots for, for tools. Uh, there's holes in the board for different grabs to make sure you, you do them perfectly. And instead of having uh, slide rails they can roll so your board slides are really really easy um, there is a skate key there's screwdrivers and sockets first aid kit uh, and another mirror in the back so you can check when you're in uh, like a on a, a lip trick to make sure you haven't hung up yet <laughs> and then a handle to carry around the board i just thought this was a lot of fun like they were coming out with all kinds of dumb technology all the time back in like when this came out but they kind of knew it was dumb. I mean, look at how, how far they, they went with that. I just think that was that was a lot of fun. If you like seeing weird old skateboarding things, uh, make sure you are subscribed. I will see you later. There are some more videos right here that you might like. Uh, thanks for hanging out.